Hi, I'm Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and I'm here today to talk about the 33rd Annual Bay Music Festival. And with me here in the studio, I have Brent Carroll, who's the president of the Centerville Lions Club, and Tuan Oaks, who's also with the Lions Club, and they're with the group, uh, the Lions Club's putting this event on. So I'm going to have uh, Tuan tell us a little bit about the festival, and then Brent's going to tell us a little bit about where the um, proceeds from this go to and you know what you're supporting with it so welcome gentlemen and tell us about this 33 years great yeah it's been a long time Debbie so I want to thank you uh, thank you folks again for having us over and 33 years uh, we'll, let's get on to the, <laughs> we'll get on to this <laughs> year's event but uh, we've had a lot of fun over the years we've had a lot of great music in the park over the years uh, this year the event is June 14. Uh, out at the uh, Queen Anne's County 4-H Park from 3 until 10 o'clock. Uh, okay. The event is more of a rock and rootsy music event. Uh, we're featuring uh, four new uh, entertainers this year. Okay. Uh, out of uh, six, you know, entertainers on the main stage. We actually have a second stage so this two, year. you're going to have two stages. Have I two thought stages I saw that somewhere year. and I'm That's thinking, right. oh my gosh, two, two stages. Two stages. The second stage will be... Uh, uh, to, to have Tracy Eldridge uh, okay. perform for the children. She's going to do three sets of children's music in between the set changes on the main stage and then after she finishes up then Chris Sachs so, is going to do music there. So this is a family event. This isn't just like for parents this is or adults. This is a family event. Absolutely. We're going to she we're going to have face painting. We'll have moon bounce. We'll have okay. uh, balloon art. Things like that for the kids to be doing you know, to help entertain while mom and dad's enjoying some music. Uh, <laughs> I mean, children under 12 are free. And uh, we do charge uh, adults 15 at the gate and okay. 12 in advance. Uh, but kids under 12 are free. Uh, the event runs from 3 until 10 o'clock. It's just an amazing re return for the amount of money you spend to get in there. Uh, but this year we'll actually feature two of the region's iconic uh, you know, rockabilly or rock and roots type musicians. Uh -huh. uh, one from either side of the bay, uh, Bird Dog and the Road Kings have been there every year. Nice. And uh, so he will be uh, following Ruthie and the Wranglers. And we're very excited to have Ruthie out of D.C. Oh, wow. uh, Ruthie and the Wranglers, she plays a lot in the uh, D.C., Virginia market as well as Texas. Okay. And uh, she has won 30 Whammy Awards over the years. She is wow. a phenomenal entertainer. The folks, uh, you know, normally you pay 15 bucks to go hear her by right. herself. And you're so, getting all the other groups you're with all that, the other so this is quite a deal. With that. But in addition to that, we've got uh, the Roadhouse Clams from here in Centerville making their first appearance okay. at the event. Uh, we've got... Uh, uh, the Jones Boys, oh. who are very traditional country, and we've never they're, had them. And so they're playing we, the Chicken Festival the following weekend. Uh, Busy they group. They told me they are, <laughs> and they are excited to be at both. Uh, we've got Chris Sachs mm -hmm. uh, that is coming out to play, uh, and actually going to be opening for us at doing an acoustic duo. Oh wow! Uh, with an acoustic and a set of congas, so we're extremely excited to have Chris join us. Uh, WRNR is going to be doing a live broadcast out okay. there that day. Uh, they're going to be giving away plenty of goodies. Uh, oh, well, I do need to mention, uh, you know, the closing act this year is going to be 21 Horses. I, I was waiting for you. I was going to make sure you didn't yeah. forget to mention no, them because I they mean, are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Very powerful group yep. that we wanted to have in that closing slot. And we've had them there. This will be their third appearance. Nice. And uh, so they have quite a following, and we're looking forward to their folks coming out to support them. But uh, but one thing that you will never be uh, uh, looking for out there is something to eat or to drink. We've got plenty of cold beverages. We've got plenty of. I was going to ask if uh, you had food and drink. We've got plenty of food. Uh, you know, Paul Gunther and his group usually. Uh, put on the roast beef, uh, oh, the open okay. pit style, and they're going to be doing some pulled pork, and uh, we'll have the folks from the creamery out there doing their thing, you know, plus we'll have pizza, we got ice cream, we got all that, you know, for the kids. Uh, so there's all of that. Uh, we've got raffles, uh, two raffles this year. I was going to say, so what, what would you be raffling off? We will be <laughs> raffling off an Eastman Strings MD614, which we have here in the studio today. 
it's about a fifteen hundred dollar uh, mandolin it's that beautiful. Eastman Strings has been so gracious to uh, provide for us uh, to raffle off. And in addition to that, we have an SE uh, PRS acoustic guitar uh, to raffle off. And the folks at PRS have been extremely generous supporters. Little local uh, support there. Yeah, very very much. nice. So between Eastman Strings and, and uh, PRS, uh, a very, the very most uh, faithful uh, presenting sponsor is G and G Coors Light, and they have been uh, they've been very generous to us over the years, and we are very fortunate to to have them with us again this year. Well, it's it's a good event now, um, Brent. I'm going to call on you to tell us a little bit about what the um, proceeds from this go to benefit. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about that. Sure, um, the Centerville Lions Club. Uh, this is our 67th year of being in existence, wow. and we're very proud of that. It was formed in 1947. <laughs> Uh, so over the years we've done a lot of things, but currently our, our main focus in Lyons is on site preservation and we do a lot of activities that have to do with site. For example, on the local scene we work with the Department of Aging and Social Services and probably some of the other uh, so, uh, social help groups or mm -hmm. social welfare groups. We provide eye exams okay. for, the, for the needy people, we provide eye glasses and we either pay for it in whole or in part depending on the circumstances in the, in the family and we're very proud to be able to do that and, and for, unfortunately for a lot of people we've had to do a lot of that this year so we spend a lot of money every time every year on that sort of thing in addition to that we're uh, contributors to uh, leader dogs for the blind oh okay yes and uh, we participate dogs. in that every year we also uh, uh, we our, uh, our Lyons district as a whole, which includes the nine eastern shore counties of, uh, here in Maryland, has a foundation uh, which uh, sets up an endowed chair at the Wilmer Eye Clinic for low vision research. And we've been doing that and we've raised millions of dollars for that over wow. the years and we, we contribute some of this money into that and it's a very worthwhile thing. In, adi uh, in addition, uh, you, you'll read in our program book, which we're assembling now, that uh, we participate uh, with the other local clubs in, in the Queen Anne's County area and, and they do low vision screening in the schools to help for, look for things like lazy eye and, okay. and refer those children out so they can get some serious attention if we, if we notice that. The schools cooperate with that, with us with that, the school nurses and so forth. And, we, and the Ken Holland Club uh, takes the lead on that. We're very appreciative of that. Uh, they enjoy doing it and so we help provide some funding and, and, and so forth. And, and, all the, all the Lions Club benefits as a result of it. So coming out and support this yes. is supporting all these um, activities that the Lions Club does so yeah. you can enjoy yourself and feel good about it because you're helping to, you know, take care of these things. And, and Tuan mentioned, uh, and uh, Tuan mentioned the, uh, it, by the way, Tuan didn't say that he was a program chair and he's done this for <laughs> years. <laughs> He lines up all this music Oops, beginning. Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Being very modest, I think. But the uh, we have numerous sponsors that uh, that have uh, contributed to this calls every year, and for that reason, we're able to keep the price down. That's why mm -hmm. that happens. And so, uh, when you see their names in print, we try to advertise them. Right. Uh, we hope you patronize those people, and uh, and thank them for part of the good time that you're going to have when you're out there. So if anybody wants more information, they can go to baymusicfestival.com, the website. You can call the um, Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and we can give you the same information, um, and the number will be on the, the board there. So it's Saturday, June 14th. Door, gates open at 3 o'clock, and it's rain or shine. 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, sorry. Gates <laughs> open at 2. It starts at 3, and it's rain or shine, correct? That's right. Um, and... Yeah. And Debbie, you can follow us on Facebook if you want and uh, comment. We'd like that. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. And, and of course, while you're at the event, you should be posting on the Facebook about what's going on so people can see and maybe get out there before it's over. So I really appreciate you guys coming in, and I'm hoping for good weather for you and a big turnout this year. Great. We, uh, we thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you and seeing all you guys out there. So. All, all right. right. All right. Thanks very thank much. You. Thank you. Coming out.